but he did extend his point streak to a career high. Eight games, and away we go here between the Winnipeg Jets and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Pass over to Kyle Connor. The Jets starting this one off on the first shift with offensive zone pressure. The opposite of what happened last night. And right away, right off the bat, we have a goal. A fantastic start as Nick Ehlers rips one on net. And it's one to nothing for the Winnipeg Jets. Was suspect of a couple of early plays against them in the first period. The Jets were down two nothing. It could have been four. A couple of were turned back. And Ehlers here, who has been so great for the Winnipeg Jets, turned into a real leader for him. Just throws it towards the net. I think this is going to hit Stasty in front of the net. Well, one more look at it here. Yep, he's going to redirect that puck. I believe he got a piece of it. And the Winnipeg Jets get right on the board after they've talked a lot internally about their tough starts. From the boards at the far side and play whistle down here. The referee's hand is up and Kucherov is down and we've got some pushing and shoving here early in the first and a fight between Lowry and Bogosian. We just mentioned Zach Bogosian coming back into the lineup and John Cooper was talking about how it's tough to tell veteran players that they're not in but he stops in the corner. Kucherov to the point. Hedman, quick one-touch pass over to Stamkos. Stamkos has a look. Shoots, and he scores! The Lightning with a quick strike here to answer back. This game is tied at one. And it just hits him. And Stamkos, a bit of a break as hits a stick first. And now the puck sent all the way down the ice. First man on it is Kucherov. His pass didn't work out. Dubois getting the puck out of the zone. Here he comes. Kyle Connor moving in. And he scores! What a fantastic effort to finish off that one by Kyle Connor. His 40, 43rd of the season. And Winnipeg has the lead. When he's flying in full motion with the deke. And here it is. Protects the puck off. Headman now. Sends it along the boards. Hedman able to keep it in again. Ruta room to shoot. He had a slap pass. And now it's in the net. The Tampa Bay Lightning have tied it. Off a shot from Belmar. And Ruta here is going to shoot wide and use the boards to his advantage. And then Belmar just throws it towards the net immediately and fools Hellebuck. I don't think this hit anything in the oh yeah it did. Hit the boss stick on the way. He had it all alone in front of the net. Sanford with a real good recovery after he was beat going to the net. Here's a shot. Elliott the save rebound and we have a goal. Josh Morrissey on the doorstep. Giving the Jets yet another lead. It's three to two. And Appleton will just throw it across. Lowry just puts it towards the net in a bad angle, and Elliott has no idea where it is, and Morrissey, who's left all alone. Folks at the NHL got a good look at it. Uh, is that touching still? <laughs> it might. After video review, it was determined that it was onside. There's onside. Okay. It'll be a delayed penalty. A so penalty. the ruling will be inconclusive. Schmidt. Dumps it in. Puck knocked down by Elliott. Picked up by the Jets. Wheeler to the point. Peon. Rister. And it's tipped home. A two goal lead for Winnipeg. The captain, Blake Wheeler. He's on the score sheet. It's four to two. By Peon. And then here is the goal. They get it back to the point. And they redirect right in front from Wheeler. Second period that is favored Winnipeg thus far and here's Sanford taking down his man and now whistles on the play as we have some more rough stuff Lowry getting into it again Corey Perry of course in the mix Pat Maroon and here's Perry drops the gloves with Sanford Sanford trying to throw a right Perry trying to defend himself here the pace has slowed down Sanford again, trying with those rights. Here's Perry, got Sanford's helmet off. 
The linesmen step in and end that one. And Kalorn is going to lift this one into the Winnipeg zone. Josh Morrissey hit behind the net. Nick Paul was coming in forcefully. Nick Paul has it from the slot. He shoots. He scores. And just like that, the Tampa Bay Lightning are back within one. Right there by Paul. And then what does he do? He'll drift right out high to this deep slot and get it away in a hurry. Tampa Bay applying pressure. Here's Hedman decided to hang on to it. He had Appleton in front. Nick Paul. Passes back. Kucherov moving up. Over to Hedman. His pass in front. And we have a goal. Nikita Kucherov. Tie a game. Four to four. Here in Tampa. He finds his favorite or one of his favorite pass partners. And that's Hedman. DeMello to Morrissey. Brings it in over the blue line. But he was checked. And it's Andre Palat. Palat. Cutting to the middle, his pass to Stamkos, he shoots on the backhander, and he scores. The Tampa Bay Lightning have a one-goal lead, thanks to their captain. He wants to have this one back for sure on the backhand here. Morrissey does get back, but uh, not that he's been bad tonight. He hasn't by any means. Here's a chance for Tampa Bay, and the puck just skipped away. At the last moment, another tip, it's Kucherov, and it's 6-4. to four. And they have a two-goal lead. Puck possession here behind the net, not once, but twice here. And here's the giveaway back to the point because of the pressure. Play continued. McDonough hit him in the ankle, I think, and said, give him a little tap, sorry. Now it's Kucherov. Chernak with a pass coming through. And the Lightning score. It's Sergachev making it 7-4. to four. As we look here, a little reverse play. And the Jets nowhere in sight on the offside. And you wonder... Is Feshnikov here was coming off the players bench in a change? I mean, where was he? Cheating for a breakaway? Puck brought in. Shot from Sanford. Elliott had the answer. And there's the final buzzer. The Tampa Bay Lightning with their seventh 100-point season in franchise history. Final score, 7-4. to four.